it is 523 and uh, just warming up the car half hour less than half hour to sunrise and try to get try to get some uh, pictures of the sunrise sorry I'm a little slow tired uh, I was up till one in the morning taking pictures hopefully they came out good they looked good in the behind the um, yeah yeah it's just gorgeous here but very blessed that we made it and the the natural show that we saw was just amazing so uh, I'm gonna start getting to work warmed up the car warmed up me got four hours of sleep got a seven and a half hour drive ahead of me I'm gonna get some pictures and worry about the, all that stuff later look at that gorgeous That's why the ancients thought they were among the gods up here. We start taking some shots because the sun's gonna pop up and it's gonna be beautiful. Believe it or not, Nick and I almost didn't make this leg of our trip. Time is always at a premium for us, but I'm sure glad we made it up to Nordoff Peak. The visibility coming up didn't make it easy, an easy feat. The payoff of that night under the stars and the sunrise were priceless. Golden hour over the pillow top clouds was breathtaking. You never realize they truly wisp and flow together until you time lapse clouds. They're analogous to watching a campfire or flowing waters as patterns give in to randomness, yet it's soothing in its own right. It's not a technical trail, it's only three or four, but it was difficult to navigate. There's that morning, the views were amazing, and our little campsite glistened in the rising sunlight. The angle and the narrowness of this part of the trail was definitely the most sketchy because uh, when you're looking to the left, all you see is a sheer drop off. Puckery puckery do. Coming off the peak and uh, slowly making our way down into the pillow top clouds was uh, something else to see. Trying to do GoPros and going down on a shelf road. And it's crazy going into the fog. See if we can get Nick. Not only would I get a great shot of uh, Nick's Doka, but I'd also get uh, the fire tower peeking in on us, which uh, wouldn't be the uh, only occasion it would peek in through the clouds. Unlike the day before, the cloud coverage and visibility was uh, much better. And if anything, it was uh, a little bit more surreal this time versus uh, downright dangerous the last time. All right, now time for the switchback. Turn, baby, turn! What takes me two to three point turn to get around the switchback, uh, Nick shows with a short wheelbase and the versatility of the Doka, how quick he can uh, make it around the switchback.
Finally are making the last descent down after traveling along the ridges from Nordoff Peak. The bulk of the trail is that ridge line with almost 365 degree views when clear. I really think Nordoff Peak is an untouched gem that the Overland community is missing out on. Please comment below if you've heard of it, or if you know of any other good fire tower locations. I would love to explore another and make a third video featuring one. Regardless, this ended up being a fantastic add-on trip to the lookout. Seven and a half hours later, I'd be home and extremely tired. The smile I have from this trip was well worth it though. These trips are so enriching to go on, and really, by making these videos, I get to relive the adventure. If you enjoy this content as much as we do, be sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks and on to the next adventure.